Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to study about profit and loss. So, first of all, this chapter you have to study based on the shopkeeper's point of view. And some few terminologies are there like CP. CP will mean cost price. Then SP. SP will mean selling price. Now see, suppose I am a shopkeeper and I purchase an article for rupees 100. So cost price of the article is rupees 100 and I sell the same article for rupees 120. The so selling price of the article is rupees 120. So if I ask you in this case, what will be there? Am I at profit or at loss? So definitely I am at profit. So if I ask you how much is the profit? You will say that profit is rupees 20. So I am asking how did you got 20 rupees? So you will say selling price minus cost price. So remember this is the formula for profit. Profit is equal to what? Selling price minus cost price. This is the first formula. Secondly, now I purchase the article for rupees 100 and I sell the same article for rupees 90. In this case, there is a loss. So how much is the loss? You will say there is 10 rupees loss. So how did you got 10 rupees? So loss is equal to rupees 10. So how did you got 10 rupees? We are doing cost price minus selling price. CP minus SP. So this is our next formula. So loss equal to our CP minus SP. Next you see, next formula is our percentage profit. Percentage profit. Now percentage profit and there is another term known as percentage loss. So when we want to find percentage profit, another name is percentage gain. Then in the denominator there will be cost price. Because percentage is required, we will multiply with 100. Similarly percentage loss, in the denominator there will be cost price. In our last chapter on percentage also I explained this point. And because percentage required, we will multiply with 100. When profit is required, you see percentage profit. Here will come in the numerator will come profit and if percentage loss is required in the numerator there will be loss. I hope you, hope you are getting this point. Next what do you mean by profit? Profit means selling price minus cost price by cost price into 100. These are another formula. Similarly percentage loss. Loss means our what? Cost price minus selling price by cost price into 100. We'll write like this. I'm putting a bracket over here. Now this also can be written as what? I'm dividing by cost price both sides. Minus CP by CP into 100. Cost price and cost price will cancel out. So what shall we get it? SP by CP minus 1 into 100. So this is another formula for percentage profit. Percentage profit equal to SP by SP by CP minus 1 into 100. Similarly, here also directly I am dividing percentage loss. I will divide cost price also. I will divide selling price also. So as a result, what shall I get it? 1 minus SP by CP into 100. I hope all of you have understood till here. So this is our another formula for percentage loss. Second formula and this is our first formula. So this is our first formula, percentage profit, this is our second formula and this is our third formula. Now you see, for finding percentage profit and percentage loss, it is not necessary that we should know what is the profit and how much is the loss. Even if you know SP by CP ratio, this ratio is very important. Even if you know SP by CP ratio, still we can find out percentage profit and percentage loss. I hope it is clear. Next is our, what is the condition for profit? Heading you right, condition for profit. So under what condition we will say there is a profit. So condition is that selling price of an article must be greater than the cost price. First point, I am dividing by cost price both sides. So cost price and cost price will cancel out. 
So what shall I get it? Selling price by cost price ratio must be greater than one. Very important. First condition is that selling price of an article must be greater than the cost price or this SP by CP ratio must be greater than one. Example if I give, suppose we get something like this SP by CP. If I write 3 by 2, 3 by 2 means our what? 1.5 and 1.5 you know is greater than 1. In this case we will say there is profit. Similarly, what is the condition for loss? Condition for loss. What will be the condition? Selling price of an article must be lesser than the cost price. I am dividing by cost price both sides. This cost price and cost price will cancel out. What shall we get it? SP by CP ratio must be lesser than 1. Very important. So whenever ratio comes out to be lesser than 1, then we will say there is a loss. Example if I say like if we have SP by CP ratio is equal to 2 by 3. If you get 2 by 3 and 2 by 3 you know is equal to how much? 0 point almost 0.67. 0 0.67 is what lesser than 1 in this case we'll say there is a loss i hope you have understood till here next you see we'll solve some questions now these are the main formulas apart from this you need not have to remember any other formulas okay next one note you can write if in a question if in a question either of cost price or selling price is given two condition even a question either of first condition is this one either of cost price or selling price is given second percentage profit or percentage loss is given then we will solve the question solve the question using multiplication factor multiplication factor i hope you understand what do you know multiplication factor in the percentage chapter i have already explained it there you can watch the video now question you see what is given question number one if cost price is rupees 400 percentage profit is 20 percent find profit and selling price now see here one thing i'll repeat again so cost price or selling price must be given first condition is this both the condition need to be satisfied then only will apply multiplication factor concept otherwise will not apply both this condition need to be satisfied either of cost price or selling price must be given or second percentage profit or percentage loss must be given then we'll solve the question using multiplication factor what what will write we'll write cost price this side we'll write selling price this side and we'll find out what is the multiplication factor and depending on which side we need to go uh, forward direction or backward direction will solve it so what is multiplication factor i have explained it percentage chapter there now i'll use this concept uh, in this chapter now question number one is it what is given if cost price is rupees 400 percentage profit is 20 percent so both the conditions satisfied percentage profit is given cost price is given so I'll write cost price this side and I'm writing selling price this side. Cost price is our how much? 400. Profit is given. Profit we represent by plus. Plus 20 percent. So I hope you know multiplication factor will be our how do you find out? Multiplication factor will be with 100 percent we add it. So it will be 100 percent plus 20 percent. Selling price is unknown. Selling price of the article is unknown. So multiplication factor those who know you can directly write 6 by 5 but I am explaining it 120 percent which will be our what 120 by 100 divisible by 20 6 times 25 times. So selling price is unknown to find selling price we have to go in the forward direction. So therefore selling price of the article will be our how much forward direction we multiply with multiplication factor cost price multiply with multiplication factor. Cost price is our how much? 400. Multiplication factor is 6 by 5. And 5 how many times? 80. 86 is 480. What they are asking? Find profit and the selling price. 
so selling price we got it profit is also us so profit will be equal to what selling price minus cost price selling price is 480 cost price is 400 this will give us 80 rupees profit i hope you have understood this one next question you see so what is said selling price is rupees 600 percent is profit is 25 percent find profit and cost price so here also percent is profit is given first condition satisfied either of cost price or selling price is given so both the conditions are satisfied so what we'll do we'll write cost price this side we'll write selling price this side do not interchange the position answer will be wrong otherwise okay so selling price is our what 600 profit profit we write plus plus 25 percent so multiplication factor we can remember this 5 by 4 is the multiplication factor but i am explaining you how do you find out we have to add 100 percent plus what 25 percent so which will be 125 percent 125 percent means 125 by 100 25 5 times 25 4 times this 5 by 4 is the multiplication factor cost price is unknown so to find cost price we have to go in the backward direction therefore cost price will be our what selling price divided by multiplication factor selling price is what 600 multiplication factor is our how much 5 by 4 so this will give us 600 by 5 4 will go up 5 how many times 120 124 is a 480 they are asking what find profit and the cost price therefore profit will be our what selling price minus cost price selling price is 600 cost price is 480 which will give us rupees 120 i hope you have understood this problem as well so let's see the next question now what is said cost price is 400 selling price is 480 find percentage profit now in this question both the conditions are not satisfied and if both the conditions are not satisfied then you cannot apply that formula uh, cost price this side selling price this side so what we'll do here they're asking what is percentage profit we know the formula for percentage profit is equal to what profit upon cost price into 100 profit means what selling price minus cost price by cost price into 100 selling price is you can see selling price is what 480 cost price is our 400 divided by 400 into 100 so we are getting 80 by 400 into 100 so 85 times 520 times we are getting the answer as 20 but when you mark the answer finally you have to mark it as 20 percent so this point is important see we we are getting as 20 but when you write the answer we'll write it as what 20 percent i hope it is clear next question <clears throat> so this, this is the same question find profit and the cost price yes this is same only question number five you see profit is 300 percentage profit is 20 percent find cost price and selling price now percentage profit is given i told you either of cost price or selling price must be given first condition was what percentage profit or percentage loss must be given second condition was either cost price or selling price must be given then we'll apply the concept of multiplication factor but in this question percentage profit is given but cost price selling price is not given so you cannot apply that concept over here so what we'll do we'll apply the formula we know percentage profit is equal to our what profit upon cost price into 100 these are formula percentage profit is 20 percent just now explained you although it is written 20 percent but we'll write 20 profit is our how much 300 cost price of the article we do not know into 100 so 25 times cross multiply here one time one is left so it will be cost price will be how much 300 into 5 that will give us 1500 i hope it is clear 
they are asking find cost price and the selling price okay now we know profit is equal to selling price minus cost price profit is given as 300 rupees selling price we do not know cost price is 1500 simplify this so selling price will be 300 plus 1500 and that will give us 1800 rupees okay so profit will be our how much 1800 rupees sorry uh, selling price will be 1800 rupees profit is 300 already given in the question cost price is 1500 next question you see <clears throat> if selling price is 270 percentage loss is 10 percent find cost price and loss so here also first condition is satisfied second condition is also satisfied so what we'll do we'll write cost price this side we'll write selling price this side selling price is 270 there is a loss of our how much 10 percent so multiplication factor will be from 100 you have to subtract it 90 percent will get it but i'm explaining it because we're just starting from next time directly i will write it 100 percent minus 10 percent 90 percent 90 percent means 90 by 100 zero zero cancel out we are getting what 9 out of 10 cost price is unknown so how do you find out cost price we have to go backward direction so therefore cost price of the article will be selling price divided by multiplication factor backward direction we divide selling price is 270 multiplication factor is what 9 by 10 so it will be 270 divided by 9 into 10 9 3 30 times which will be our how much 300 rupees anything else they're asking they're asking loss also loss equal to <coughs> loss equal to cp minus sp cp is our 300 selling price is 270 270 which will give us 30 rupees loss i hope it is clear till here Next, I have to explain something called as overheads. See, some, one term is there, something known as overheads. Now, overheads means what? You'll buy, and suppose you buy an article like I buy a bike or a second hand bike. I bought a bike for rupees 50,000, but some defects were there so in repairing i spend 5000 rupees okay then <clears throat> again uh, for documents and all documents i spend 1000 rupees then again i sold the same bike for rupees 60000 so what will be the cost price of the bike now so all these expenses repairing and documents and all all these are known as overhead expenses so in this case, the total cost price will be our, what was the cost price means what, what price did you buy, bought it plus the overhead expenses plus overheads. This point to keep in mind. <clears throat> See the question now based on this. Ram purchased a computer set for rupees 12,500 and spent rupees 300 on transportation. This 300 rupees is the our overhead expense rupees 800 on installation and sorry at what price should he sell so as to earn overall profit of 15 percent okay so what will be the total cost price here total cost price will be 12,500 plus overhead expenses our how much 300 plus 800 so 12500 plus 1100 so we'll get 13600 I hope you are getting because 1100 plus 2500 plus 10,000 give us 13600. Question is at what price should we sell to earn overall profit of 15%? Now we know the cost price, selling price of the article we do not know. But he wants to earn a profit of 15%. Cost price is known 13600. Multiplication factor will be our how much? If you I have already given. In my earlier lecture how do you find the multiplication factor 15% already I wrote it but here I am explaining it it will be 100% plus 15% which will give us 115% 115% 115 
which will be 115 by 100 you can keep like this also or if you want you can divide it also but better if you keep it two zeros to will cancel automatically selling price of the article is unknown let me add another one page selling price of the article is unknown so selling price of the article will be our what cost price into multiplication factor cost price is 13600 into multiplication factor is 115 by 100 if you want you can divide it here okay so two zeros will cancel so how much will get 136 into 115 multiply 136 into 115 so 500 plus 180 680 will get 16611 so we'll get 15640 so this should be the selling price of the article i hope you have understood this one so next question <clears throat> Now see type 1. So there are different different types of question. I am taking the first type. If the selling price of 16 water bottle is equal to the cost price of 17 water bottle, find the gain or loss person by the dealer. So how to solve this type of question? Second question also will be of the same type. You see the cost price of 12 candle is equal to the selling price of 15 candle. Find the gain or loss person third question also same type cost price of 10 greeting cards is equal to selling price of 15 greeting cards so all the question if you see here is equal to this part is common is equal to so what do you do replace it with the help of equal symbolically you repair it uh, replace it so what is given given that cost price of sorry selling price given selling price of 16 water bottle is equal to is written i am writing symbolically is equal to what cost price of 17 water bottle 17 water bottle you can take 16 common from here i am taking 16 common so what shall i get it 16 i can write selling price of one water bottle 17 I am taking common it will be our what cost price of one water bottle after that when here also you get one water bottle simply you what you can do 16 into selling price will be our what 17 into cost price our target is to find SP by CP ratio so those who know directly you can add SP by CP will be 17 by 16 but I am explaining it how it came because many of you have doubt here equal to 17 what I did cost price I bought it this time so what I can write SP by CP equal to what 17 by 16 let me add another one page <coughs> so SP by CP ratio we are getting 17 by 16 this ratio is what greater than 1 and we know whenever in a question SP by CP ratio comes out to be greater than 1 then we say there is a profit okay so therefore therefore there is a profit so what will be the percentage profit they are asking what is the percentage gain percentage gain percentage profit what mean the same percentage profit will be when you know the ratio then you apply this formula sp by cp minus 1 into 100 sp by cp ratio is our how much 17 by 16 minus 1 into 100 this will give us lcm you will take it you will get 1 by 16 into 100 so 1 by 16 means you know 6.25 but we will write the answer as what 6.25 percent will be the percentage profit i hope you have understood this problem see one thing from next time here I have explained everything from next time we will not write these two sentence directly we will start from here whenever one comes both side one comes we will write directly into SP here cost price of one water bottle was there 
directly i'm right i will write cp from the next question i hope it is clear next question you see solution the cost price of 12 candle is equal to you can see just like the earlier question this this part is common cost price of 12 candle is equal to selling price of 15 candle so what we can write i can write cost price into or i can write 12 into cost price will be our 15 into selling price why because selling price of 15 candle just like the earlier problem what is our target to find sp by cp ratio so how can we get it so cp will go that side so 12 will be our what 15 into sp by cp i can write next step 15 bring it this side so 12 by 15 will be equal to what sp by cp ratio so 3 4 is a 12 3 5 is a 15 so we're getting sp by cp ratio is coming out to be 4 by 5 you know 4 by 5 equal to our how much 0 0.8 and 0 0.8 is lesser than 1 so therefore there is a therefore there is a loss how much is the loss so they are asking percentage loss percentage loss equal to if you know the ratio we apply this formula sp by cp ratio minus 1 minus sp by cp into 100 and another one page So what you'll get 1 minus 4 by 5 into 100 will get LCM will be 5. So what you'll get 5 minus 4 into 100. 1 by 5 into 100. 1 by 5 will be our how much? 20% will be the answer. I hope it is clear this question. Third question is also of the same type. If the cost price of 10 greeting cards is equal to selling price of 8 greeting cards. So what you can given directly I am writing. So if you want you can write CP into 10 will be our what SP into 8. I hope it is clear this line. Our target is to find SP by CP ratio. So directly you can write 10 by 8 but I am explaining it. So 10 will be our what SP by CP into 8. Bring the our 8 this side so we'll get 10 by 8 equal to what sp by cp divisible 5 by 4 is equal to our sp by cp ratio so what you are getting sp by cp ratio is equal to 5 by 4 and you know 5 by 4 is greater than 1 why because 5 by 4 is 1.25 we'll get 1.25 and 1.25 is greater than 1 therefore there is a profit they are asking what is the percentage gain or loss. Therefore, percentage profit will be our how much? Percentage profit is equal to SP by CP minus 1 into 100, which will be our 5 by 4 minus 1 into 100, which will give us 1 by 4 into 100, 425 times. So, answer will be 25% profit. I hope it is clear this.